The limitations of PGT testing. A lot of patients who failed IVF cycles have been advised by the doctor that in the next IVF cycle, they need to do an additional procedure called PGT, which stands for pre-implantation genetic testing. Now, it sounds like quite a mouthful and trust me, it is because what the doctor does in this procedure is takes your embryo, removes a few cells from it, what's called biopsy, freezes that embryo, sends those cells to a genetic lab for testing. And then when the results come back, thaw only those embryos which are genetically normal and transfer these so that if you get pregnant, you're sure that your baby is genetically normal. Sounds very sensible, makes so much logical sense. It's so seductive. And so what if it costs two or three lakhs more? Of course, we should do it because we're increasing your chance of getting pregnant. The tragedy is it doesn't work. And this is not something which doctors will tell you because it's in their best interest to sell you the procedure, to do the additional test because they make so much more money on it. But what they don't tell you is the test is completely flawed. It's full of limitations. So for example, even if the PGT test is abnormal, that embryo could actually still implant and become a completely healthy baby because these cells are live cells. They can self-correct. And the other thing which these doctors don't tell you is that even if you did a PGT test, there's no guarantee that embryo is going to implant, which means you may still end up with a failed embryo implantation even after spending all that extra money. And what they don't tell you is that even if you do PGD, once you get pregnant, you're still going to have to do a prenatal diagnosis, either at eight weeks by doing a coronary biopsy or at uh, 12 weeks by doing an amniocentesis because PGD has so many limitations because all you're doing is testing two or three cells, which means the number of tests you can do is very limited. Whereas when you get pregnant, the number of cells which we can test is so much more. So it's so much more reliable. And this is why I tell patients, you want us to do PGD? Happy to do it. We can charge you a lot more. It's much more profitable for me, but it's not in your best interest. And it makes much more sense to do a regular bread and butter, simple IVF cycle, and then do your genetic testing once you get pregnant in case you're worried about the risk of Down syndrome or any genetic abnormality. And if you're confused, feel free to reach out to me. I offer a free second opinion. This is documented. Everything's in writing. Our website is www.drmalpani.com. And I'm happy to help you to have a baby.